Okay, so every year we give what's called the Bacon Prize for the, the thought leader of that year and super longevity. It's the only prize that I know in the world given for super longevity. Watch this little video and you'll explain it, you'll explain it more. Who will recognize the true pioneers of super longevity? The people who stand out to make an impact, who challenge the status quo to bring new science, new strategies, and a new vision of living into our world. Who will give credit where credit is due? This is the purpose of the Bacon Prize for Thought Leadership in Super Longevity, awarded annually by the Coalition for Radical Life Extension. Named for Roger Bacon, one of the earliest proponents of the scientific method, and Sir Francis Bacon, the Renaissance philosopher who helped establish modern scientific reasoning, the Bacon Prize is our acknowledgement of those people who have made and continue to make extraordinary contributions to the advancement of radical life extension. Okay, all right. So I am very honored to bring on Dr. Aubrey de Grey to present this award to our next recipient. Audrey is uh, one of our year's recipients of this award. Well, thanks, Jim. Yeah, I, I, I was, I think, the second recipient. I was also um, privileged to be asked by Jim in 2019 to give this prize its name. So it's, it's because of my British heritage, I guess, that I decided to name it after two, uh, these two people who are, of course, both British from many years ago. Um, and, of course, most of the other recipients of this prize are also in the room. Michael Rose, as he mentioned, was the first one. Bill Andrews got it. Um, I, uh, I, I'm going to have to have a few words with Michael and Bill about the evolutionary <laughs> biology of aging. Uh, um, uh, uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, luckily they come to the right conclusions, albeit for the wrong reasons. Um, they, um, <laughs> Uh, uh, um, because, because, of course, what matters is not what um, is possible in the absence of medicine, but rather what's, present, present, what's possible in the presence of rejuvenation medicine, which we are in the process of developing. All right, so um, today I have, I mean, honestly, I'm really happy to be able to present this award today. Um, you heard just now about um, the next, uh, the 2024 RADFest. Put, they put a QR code up there. Um, I should have a QR code for my own conference in Dublin um, for next year, but I don't because I only received it this morning and I gave my slides a few days ago. Um, um, but anyway, yes, we're going to have another conference as well, and um, uh, that happens every year in Dublin. It's probably going to be in late June next year. Um, but I mention that because I've been running conferences for 20 years now. My first one was in 2003. And the first six conferences I ran were in Cambridge in England, which is where I used to live. And honestly, the amount that I've achieved in terms of community building just through those conferences is one of my proudest achievements of all, of, all that I've done over these years. There are so many people in this room and in this community who have got their first taste of the longevity world uh, from one or other of my conferences. And uh, one of those people is the person who's receiving this award today. Um, who came to, in fact, the last of the six conferences I ran in Cambridge um, in 2013. Uh, she uh, was interested in this really in a rather tangential way because of having a kid who had type 1 diabetes. But, um, well, the rest is history, I think is probably the best thing to say. So I'd like to invite Liz Parrish to come and receive right. this. Wow. Ten or more years ago, I, I used to say that 
the biggest shortcoming of the whole movement was that there was just no diversity of messaging. I was going out there day after day, week after week, on stage and on camera, giving the same story, and some people were listening and some people weren't. We just needed people who could say the same kind of thing in different words in a different style. And then it happened, and the rest is history. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm really excited to receive this award. And I have so many people to thank, from uh, all of the founders of modern medicine to the founders of this new technology. And of course, many of these people are in this room. And so I have to thank Michael Rose. And I hope that you give him a big uh, applaud, because he did show, uh, he was one of the first people to show that we could actually extend the lifespan of model organisms. And so in that which we base uh, our entire future. I'd like to thank uh, Aubrey de Grey for exactly what he said. I certainly would not be here if I had not attended that conference in 2013. Um, I, you know, I'm an unlikely person to be up here, as a matter of fact, so I'm really honored. And I actually have to go back about two weeks before that event and thank my family, who um, they have paid for it on the front side, We've lost time together, but we're gonna get back on the backside, right? Because we're gonna do this. So, um, yeah, so I'm really thankful for all the support that they gave me. And I have to thank Bill Andrews, because Bill Andrews actually constructed the first two gene therapies that he gave to BioViva for me to take in 2015. Wow. <laughs> But the reason I'm really emotional right now, there was one person who believed in me like no one else in the world. And I met him in 2015. And this man sort of became like my father, my mentor. Um, I spoke to him every single week until two years ago today. About three years ago, maybe three or four years ago, he spoke at RadFest, but he had to come in through audio because he couldn't physically be here because he was so ill. And he said something profound that was absolutely true. He told everyone at RadFest to look around you. They, these are all the best friends that you didn't know you have. These are the people who are working every single day to extend your healthy lifespan. And, you know, he never um, actually uh, ceased to amaze me. Um, but this uh, goes to David Kekic. Yeah. <laughs> I really wouldn't be here if he didn't look at me and see an inexcusable distinguishable uh, flame that would not go out until the day I leave this planet to make it a, a better place. So thank you so much. Wow, 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 great job. Uh, they want to get a picture, Liz? They want to get a media picture? You, you want to get in the middle of us here? There you go. Okay, there we go. 